Hello, my most amazing artist. Today we are going to learn about something called Chinese porcelain. Porcelain is a type of clay made in the Ming Dynasty. In the mid 17th century, Central Asian trade routes were opened and they were able to obtain or to get a mineral called cobalt blue. And so this color was very special and they used it on their ceramic ware. They usually created things like dragons, flowers, fish, floral or leaf designs with this blue cobalt glaze. We're going to be starting to make our own Ming Dynasty Chinese porcelain vase today out of paper. First, we're going to either draw our own shape face that takes up the whole page, or we could use a tracer. Then we are going to trace and erase with a black Sharpie marker. Afterwards, we'll start to draw our design with pencil. You could do animals, flowers, leaves, dragons, fish, Get creative. Draw with pencil first and draw it light until you get it right. You may have to erase a number of times just like I did. So make sure you draw pretty lightly with your pencil so that it's easier for you to erase later. Once you are confident with your design, and your design takes up almost all of the vase, or at least most of the space inside of the vase, you can start to trace that with a Sharpie. Remember, if you have some finer details, you might want to use a thin Sharpie for those instead of a thick. Once you have finished tracing all of your pencil lines with Sharpie, You'll want to erase any extra pencil lines that are still showing. Then after you trace and erase those, you're going to go in with your blue marker. Now it's important that you use blue only because then it will reflect what we've been learning about. The Chinese porcelain, where they use the blue cobalt glaze because their trade routes had opened up and they were able to get this special color. Once you are all finished coloring with the blue markers, then we could either pause for the day or if you have a little bit more time, I'll show you how we can cut this vase out and glue it onto our background paper so that we're all ready to go for next time. The next step is going to be to cut out your amazing Ming Dynasty Chinese porcelain vase. What you'll need to do is write your name on the blue paper and then you'll just cut out your vase. Now, if you have added any handles like I have, I'll show you a special way to cut out the holes in those handles so that they still show through. Once you're done cutting out around your vase, you can pinch where the handle is, cut, and then sneak your scissors in. That way you can cut out the center of something. Fold, cut, and sneak your scissors in. Then we are going to go ahead and glue this vase onto our blue background paper. I would like you to use a glue stick, not a glue bottle, because I think it'll be a little bit better for this kind of paper. Since the paper is so thin, I think it'll work a little easier for you. So we'll glue around the whole vase, and then we're going to make sure that it's at the bottom of our page flip it over and give it a nice back rub. Then next time we're going to paint the branches. 
How we're going to do that is using either blue or <laughs> sorry, either black or brown paints, adding some lines going up, and then perhaps even some thicker, some thinner. You could add some branches coming off. I like to paint my branches kind of like a letter Y if I add another small branch. Then this kind of paint, these tempera cakes, should dry pretty quickly. So we should be able to go right in after this and add our lovely cherry blossoms. So those cherry blossoms we're going to stick on with a glue bottle. You're going to use pink tissue to crumple it up. And then you are going to glue those on with just a dot of glue. Dot, dot, not a lot. You only need a little bit to glue these wonderful tissue paper cherry blossoms on. Add them wherever your branches look a little sparse. So that means wherever there is a lot of extra empty space, that's where you might want to add your cherry blossoms so that your branches and cherry blossoms on the top of your vase look super full. I can't wait to see these amazing vases and cherry blossoms finished up. Thanks so much, everybody and have fun creating.